Hey guys, it's Brenda from Gumdrops and Lollipops Tarot bringing Capricorn their weekly love read. This is for the week of April 25th through May 1st. So we are going to do you, them, and the connection. We are going to get some Sacred Healing Journey cards from Angelic Revelation 144, the Hermit Tarot cards, channeled love messages, love vibes from King of Aloha, the Hidden Truth Oracle card, Divine Love Guidance, um, I'm sorry, what? White Rose Guidance, Divine Love Messages. And then we're going to finish off the read with the Angel Guide um, card from Kyle Gray. All right, so keep in mind, Capricorns, these are general readings. If you feel like this is uh, not your read, check your, your moon or your rising signs. If you're unclear to what your moon and your rising signs are, there is a link in the description box below that will give you that information if you go to it. There's also a link in the description box below that will give you um, a link to my webpage if you're looking for a personal read. And once again, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you for all the views. I appreciate um, your support more than you guys know. So thank you, thank you. Well, your, your person wanted to be a little bit extra, so we got four cards there. Let's see the connection. Let's see what we got for Capricorn and their person. Well, that's not bad. Not, ooh, nice, guys. Ace of Cups. So a new start in love. Um, and I do see a lot of love between the two of you. I definitely see this as a potential soulmate connection. So let's see what's happening. It's exciting. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay, let's get started. So for you, Capricorn, um, I definitely see you healing your heart a little bit here. We have the Four of Swords. So I feel like you may have recently experienced um, some heartbreak some sadness and you are kind of pulling yourself back and healing yourself. You're getting that inner peace. You're working on yourself. You're healing your heart. You're resting and you're recuperating. Um, we then have two threes, the three of pentacles and the three of cups. So since this is describing you per se, I feel like um, you are definitely a person that is willing to put in the work to have a team situation, right? To have a, a relationship, to have a commitment, you're willing to put in teamwork. You're willing to work together, build, grow together. Um, you're not uh, looking for something just to be like a, a splash in the pan. You definitely have a lot of love for this person. The Three of Cups for me in this deck is definitely uh, a soulmate connection, uh, true love. This is like a wedding reception, an, enga an engagement proposal party. Um, definite uh, true love where you are like, solid friends before the love even happens. So it's not only love, but it's all this friendship as well. So it's like being in love with your best friend, like literally not falling in love and then becoming best friends with somebody. So um, your person, I don't know, we're going to have to clarify this one card. Four cards came out. So I don't know if that was the card that came out in addition. I think it was actually prior to, but whatever. So we have the seven of swords, which means lies and deceptions, right? Um, I'm going to clarify this because all of the other cards are love, wish fulfillment, um, compassion, empathy, sympathy, caretaking, loving. So um, we have the Queen of Cups. So your person showing up as the Queen of Cups. This could be a water sign. Um, doesn't have to be. I mean, there's swords and pentacles here as well. But um, loving, compassionate. This is a nurturer, a caretaker. This is someone that's oozing love. They want to take care of you. They want to nurture you. That's not like motherly, really, but it could be like very just genuine care, concern, and, and showing you tons and tons of love and compassion. They are showing up as a Ten of Pentacles. This is that blended family. This is that long-term commitment. This is that marriage um, stability. This is husband, wife, dog, cat, house. This is long-term marriage kind of commitment or material. And anytime I say marriage, for those of you that don't want to get married... It's just a higher level commitment, okay? Committed. And then we have the Nine of Cups, which is like a wish fulfillment, right? Um, a wish fulfillment, so much love, so much generosity. And the Nine of Cups um, is definitely a wish fulfillment. And it's definitely an abundance of love. So this person is extremely loving and caring and passionate, and wants a long-term commitment. Um, I think they're your wish fulfillment, but I'm not sure what this uh, Seven of Swords is here. That definitely wants to come out. So let's uh, see what we can clarify. <laughs> um. Okay. So we have the six of sword, or six of cups, the ace of swords, and the page of pentacles. So I feel like this person might be lying to yourself about the connection itself. 
Um, because the Six of Cups to me is this soul connection. So perhaps this person initially is going to be like, I've known Capricorn forever. Like, I don't like Capricorn like that. That's not, I mean, yeah, I have some love for them. I feel some nostalgia here and we had some fun times and, um, but they're not, they're like a friend. Like, I don't know. That's, I feel like that's how they're kind of lying to themselves. Um, but they will be getting some clarity with this Ace of Swords here. So they'll be getting some clarity. They'll be figuring out it's going to be a slower process. They're not going to jump straight to it. But I think, like I said, Someone who falls or is a friend first and then falls in love. I think that's what this person is going to kind of be talking down their feelings about you because they're not going to think of you that way initially. But bam, they will. <laughs> they have so much love and compassion and care for you. They want a long term commitment with you. So um, and again, I think this is a similar clarification energy is it clarified again in the connection. So we have the page of pentacles. So it's. Or, I'm sorry, the Knight of Pentacles, which is a slow and steady um, pace, right? This is like good news. It's a slow and steady connection. It's not something that's going to just go from zero to 10 in a month. It's going to be a longer process. I think this friendship is going to continue to build. You guys are going to continue to add time to spend together, and it's just going to get better and better and better. Um, I think it's going to be one with complete clarity, right? I think you're both going to kind of be, I think Capricorn, you might already know. It's kind of how I feel, but they, I feel like are going to need some time to clarify it. Sometimes to to really think with their head and their heart to be logical, to kind of, um, just be a critical thinker about the situation. But this is definitely a soulmate connection with the magician here. So, um, I don't know Capricorn, if you're manifesting them or they're manifesting you, but, um, I definitely see this as a soulmate connection It's going to be slow and steady wins the race. But, uh, with this King of Swords here, it's going to be very clear. Like, it's going to be super clear to both of you. Um, but I think there's going to be a lot of thinking around it, right? I think someone's going to be really thinking, is this is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is I'm feeling this way about this person. Oh, my gosh. I never felt about this person. I never thought of this person like that before. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. We're going to get a Sacred Healing Journey card from Angelic Revelation 144. A couple of them. Lucid Dreams, Astral Travel. Headed in the right direction. I guess we're going to get four. Um, three full flame. God, masculine, feminine, the tree of life. And then romance, bliss, love, sensual, passion, paradise, and honeymoon. Yeah, I do see this. I see this going to a marriage. If you're in whatever. If you don't want to get married, then whatever. It's going to be a higher level commitment. It's divinely guided. Um, you're headed in the right direction. And uh, you might be doing some lucid dreaming, traveling, astral traveling. Maybe pay attention to your dreams a little bit if you're not um, recognizing that. All right, we're going to get a couple of Hermit Tarot channeled love messages for Capricorn and their person. You are my everything. Yes. Oh, <laughs> sorry. I didn't see this one. Think before you act. So I think that's that 10 of, I'm sorry, that King of um, Swords kind of energy. I'm ready and there is someone else. Well, this is a bit contradictory, huh? Um, this zero is a fool, like the fool card, like I'm ready to take a leap forward. And then the other person is saying like there is someone else. So um, perhaps that's you almost because you're showing up with the four of swords energy. So you're healing from this connection that you maybe you're ending currently or will be ending soon. All right, let's get a couple of love vibe cards from King of Aloha. I trust you. Can you please trust me? We have a lot of differences. I can give you everything you want. Mm -hmm. I can give you everything you want. You are my everything. We have the Ten of Pentacles. I like it, guys. I like it. Capricorns is amazing. Um, let's get a couple of Hidden Truth Oracle cards from All Things Intuitive. Sometimes I stay awake thinking about you. <laughs> I wonder if you're happy without me. And I knew exactly what I was doing. All right, guys, let's get a couple of white rose guidance, divine love messages. Your face haunts me day and night. Oh, who's saying that? Mm, I don't know. You turn loose heaven within me. Ooh. You are my dream come true. I am shocked at your existence. 
Yeah, this person is going to have some intense feelings for you. I think it's going to go both ways, guys, to be truly honest with you. We're going to get an Angel Guide Oracle from Kyle Gray for Capricorn to finish off this read. So let's see, guys, what needs to come up for Capricorn. Romance and connection. Heck yes, guys. Heck yes. This is the best read so far. Uh, I'm going backwards, so it's, it's only the third read. But Romance and connection. And I'm going to read from the book. All right. Let's see your message. Angels of romance are swirling around your life at this time, ushering in positive, uplifting, and heartfelt experiences to remind you that love is real. Allowing yourself to be romanced to receive and experience a true connection is important at this time. It is likely that your heart space is opening up and any barriers or shields that have been in place are falling away. If you find yourself scared or uptight about romance, know that this is not the only, not only a sign that you would like to experience it, but it is also something that your energy system really needs. Your angels are guiding you to begin seeing yourself as loving and deserving of love. Know that you have so much goodness and light to offer others in the world. In the world, You are also being encouraged to know that the world wants to see you, to know you, and to understand your heart. All of this is only possible with your permission. Why not give it now? All right, Capricorns, this is a fantastic read. I'm excited. Um, uh, actually, we've had a couple of good reads. I feel like Pisces was a tough one. Aquarius, this was pretty good too, but um, this is really nice. So uh, keep me posted. Make some comments in the bottom there. Tell me if this resonates. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much, guys, for your time. I appreciate you watching, and until next time, take care, guys. Bye-bye.